Hello Internet, hello and welcome to a uh, well, am and I in-house game, but I'm not playing, I'm shoutcasting. Shoutcasting. <laughs> Wouldn't really call it. Yes, uh, this is an am and I in-house game and as usual, these players are the best of players. These are not good players, these are the best players. In fact, and as such, we of course only got the best of teams. Uh, basically, we got the Moon Queen in the mid with Tempest Channel, I suppose, and Pyromancer at top. And at the bottom, we got the uh, Accursed Lunar Lane, which isn't actually too bad. Kudrufan down here, Bakuri. Kudrufan Jungle, I suppose, in red mid and Flux Blitz top. Oh, well, but keep in mind that these players are, in fact, amazing players. All of them are really, really good. And we can expect a great game right here. <laughs> now, just slipping this in right now. If you want to. Uh, support my channel and if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to leave a like on the video it really really helps me grow now then so really <laughs> is there anything to analyze now uh, i've well this is actually the new model for this red right i have never seen that one uh where did she go come on my lady let's take a look at that i'm interested yeah that's quite sweet isn't it i like that it looks a lot like the ms ivy sliver uh, but I suppose they are both based on the, kind of the same thing, aren't they? No. Nah. No oh, well. But yeah, uh, mid lane I would give to the silhouette just because she got more range and a bit of harassment potential and shit like that. You know Moon Queen got a decent stun, it's just not the same, it's just not good enough. Then, mm, on top, uh, definitely Flux Blitz, like how's that even question? Bottom is actually the only interesting main because it looks like Kudufa and Bond Jungle. Now, then, in that case, I probably would even give it to the Legion just because they got two stuns. And even though the Valkyrie stun is going to be difficult to land, like there's still a chance of it. But then they got the curse on the other. Like, I would still say it's kind of even, but uh, it's interesting. And then, of course, we got Pringers just buying boots right away. <laughs> I don't know why he did that, but he has supposed because he felt like it. <laughs> he doesn't even have regen because he bought the board as well. <laughs> what is he going for? Carry a curse? Yeah, and just if he skills up just seer and the shield, I yeah, I'm gonna be sure it's carry a curse. Which of course is the best way to play a curse. It's the only way to play a curse. Why would you play any other way of a curse? Like that's just a waste of time, isn't it? Oh well. And we got Tempest up here. I don't actually think they can yank this. Uh, Pyramids won't deal enough damage early on. And, well, I suppose once they get to level 5 or something. Might be gankable. No, Blitz won't have the best time right now. But I actually think these guys aren't playing aggressively enough. Uh, if they don't like play aggressive now, they're going to regret it later on. Because then it's going to be very difficult to do so. With the Tempest around. But yeah. Uh, what is there actually to talk about? Like right now, there really isn't all that much happening, is there? <laughs> and he still love the way the new cast looks. It's just awesome, isn't it? Like, really, 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 really nice. Is there any other new model in here, actually? Uh, Moon Queen, yeah, did he... No, he's using a um, alternative model, I suppose. That's fine. Actually, something interesting is that he bought a Guardian Ring on Moon Queen mid. Which is very strange, you usually don't see this. Like, uh, Guardian Ring in of itself uh, is very good, of course. It's a really good item, in fact. But, in the mid, you don't see it that often. Which, uh, certainly is um, reasonable, because, well, it's just not as effective in the mid. It's just not as useful. Of course, it's still useful, but it's just... You, the, the thing is, actually the main reason why you don't get the Guardian Ring in the mid is because you want your bottle and boots first. Because these two items really make a huge difference. Like whoever gets those first in the mid lane is going to be at a huge advantage. And I missed something funny at the bottom. Oh, but... <laughs> but... Yeah, so... This is just... The reason why. Like you need your boots, you need your bottle. And... It, the Ring of the Teacher is going to set you back a bit on that, which uh, isn't too great. Now, I like what the Moon Queen is doing here. She's just spamming her uh, Moonbeam, putting out a lot of damage like that. I would actually like, yes, I would like to see exactly by that, but except for the fact that I want him to hit. <laughs> oh, well. And yes, he's just going to pick up the double damage now. In the meantime, Accursed, yes, he's actually scared. 
<laughs> oh my god, what is he going for? He got Striders and a Scarab. So... Uh... Hellflower? Is he rushing Hellflower? I don't know. Everybody knows. Everybody knows that the best build on the curse is just Mock. Mock of Greed. Meantime, I miss another kill. I'm horrible at this. Oh my god, I haven't shot cast in such a long time. And I think I missed a kill at the top. Yeah, Blitz. Uh, either he went back or he died. Great. <laughs> got to pay more attention. Meantime, at the bottom, we got... Uh, nothing so far. Actually, I would, I would have stunned right there. Like, that was quite an easy kill, wasn't it? In the meantime, top. Pyromancer probably going to drop. Yeah, that's exactly what I was talking about. Oh, no! Activate the health potion now. Oh, really? Really, guys? That was horrible. Wave is dead. <laughs> wow. That was terrible. <laughs> oh, my God. That was, like, the worst thing I've seen all week. It's sadly enough not the really a top fail though. It kind of is, but it's just not. I don't know. Maybe I could actually use that. Top fails are coming soon, by the way. Um, but yeah, <laughs> that's just funny. I like the way that was going. And where's the cursed? What is he actually doing? Like, is he walling? Is he the one walling? No, I suppose not. Uh, hmm. No. Actually, it isn't one. What is he doing? <laughs> Don't question Pringles. Did he did his skill stats? Why does he only have one point into the shield? Oh, nice dodge right there. Why does he only have one point into the shield? What are they? I I won't even question. It. I just won't. <laughs> <laughs> He's just showing his superiority. He's just like, come at me, bro. Uh, meantime, top lane, Blitz is going onto the Pyromancer. Uh, Tempest is around, he's got the ultimate stun missiles, which is all of us, I suppose there's nothing going to happen up here. I should shortcast this maybe, so we got Moon Queen coming in into the mid onto the Silhouette, activates the ultimate, kills the creep, and Silhouette is just going to drop right away. That's what you get for not. Like, this is really one of those situations where you really have to get a point into your ultimate earlier. Um, as a silhouette. Like, usually you don't want to do it because it's just not as good. It's just not as useful early on. But in this game, you just have to. There's no question about it. It's... I'm sorry, but, but you have to. <laughs> um, against the Moon Queen. You activate it and you're gonna... Uh, get at least one Moon Queen on, onto that. Maybe two. And if you get two on that, that just made you save your life. And right there might have made a difference. So, I personally feel like you should have gotten it. I don't know, it's just my opinion. <laughs> and I always stay close uh, close to your creeps. Yeah. Pyromancer is not level 6. They actually got two nice kills up here. So, uh, Pyromancer is actually winning this, which is crazy. Uh, or is he? Yeah, in terms of money, if we go into GPM chart, we could yeah. Pyromancer 250 and then these two are yeah, down there. <laughs> I always laugh at if somebody's below 69 GPM because that's. Uh, it, it basically sa says that uh, if we went AFK, we would have had more money. Which is kind of depressing, if I'm completely honest. Oh, well, so Pringles is sitting in the mid now. He's, he skilled stats. I, I'm positive he did. What is he doing? <laughs> really? Oh, well. Just one question. No, I, I want it back on. Thank you. And what else is happening? Aluna down here at the bottom. Kind of solo. Solo against Valkyrie. Could you do? Why don't they just kill her? That's really quite interesting, I think. They could just kill her, like right? really. Just go in, kill her. Like, what can she do? Nothing. Dive the tower. That's a free kill. Oh, I suppose they don't want to. Well, the cursor's coming now, so that's scary. <laughs> <clears throat> did he actually take the room? I suppose he did. Yeah. Uh, who's actually winning the mid? I think it's yeah, it's Moon Queen definitely. She got that kill after all. So even though he, even though um Communist gonna kill as well, but he died for that kill. So in the end, she's ahead by one. Meantime, at the bottom, initiation onto the Luna. Luna's dropping now. A curse. This a bit of trouble. Got the level one shield though, so it shouldn't be a problem. Searing. <laughs> He's just hitting the Cthulhu right here, and gets stunned. Valkyrie. Does she have a call of the Valkyrie? Yes, in fact, she does. Shield blocks it and actually a curse is going to get the kill onto that Cthulhu. That's crazy. 
fingers don't make stupid shit walk, it depresses me. Arrow? Arrow's flying? Is it going... Wow, it's actually going to connect and... A Luna might drop to those creeps. No. Oh, no, she won't. <laughs> but I suppose worst case scenario, maybe uh, Princess would still have had another shield. Meantime, Pyromancer gets a kill onto the Blitz. I just suppose it's the ultimate, really. Yeah, he used that free kill. Nothing anybody can do about it. And this is not a point where Moonkin is really powerful because you got that ultimate and she just makes him run away. She just makes him fear her. And that's quite amazing. I would like to see her get a point into the glaive, uh, like multi strike, the glaive. Uh, just just because I, I think it's much better to skill that up now. Like, you got three points into the three points into the aura, that's fine. You really don't need more. I actually personally like having only two points into the aura and then maxing out the glaive because, yeah, it just allows for more farming early on. And Cthulhu Fan Tempest, I don't know. Uh, oh, Pyromancer. Oh, this is interesting. Tempest isn't coming. He does have that ultimate. He's going to use onto a Blitz only. Means I Pyromancer versus Cthulhu Fan. This is interesting. Pyromancer is going to get a kill and Blitz will also drop. So, Flux is now incoming. He got, he got the slow. He's not using it so far. Uses the ultimate. Uses the slow. Gets hit by the Pyromancer stunner. Valkyrie is also incoming. She's going to nuke down that... Pyromancer is now going on to the Luna, jumps in, very, very risky indeed, gets hit by a stun, I don't know if she can actually make anything happen, no, she cannot, she broke the golden rule, she did, that's the golden rule with Valkyrie, you never use your leap to initiate, it's just not going to work, you are going to die for that, and, oh, oh, that was, oh my god, that was horrible, he's still going to get the kill, uh, but he's going to die. Oh my god. Communist, really? <laughs> oh, that was just terrible. I suppose it's gonna be a quick game. Which is fine by me. Uh, but yeah, that was just horrible. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, he got the kill after all, so I walked out somehow. Not really. Uh. Yeah, and then we got the. Pyromancer of Lux situation up here. Pyromancer's ultimate is cool, so really nothing's happening. Pringles has to go now. Really? That's not cool. So he actually wanted to go for a half low. Maybe actually spell shots. Or, well, I don't know. Harkons. I hate you, Pringles. Look, this is why nobody likes you. This. Really. It's just. Oh my god. I hate that guy with all of my heart. With all of the rage of a, the burning hot rage of a thousand white hot suns of hateful fury. Yeah, that's how much I hate him. In the meantime, Flux is getting destroyed by Fireman. I don't actually know if he's going to be able to get a kill. Flux is really tanky. Pushes him away, so he's going to be fine. Um, don't think he should stay around. I really think he should just fall back. He doesn't have mana anymore. And Honestly, that ultimate was kind of unnecessary. Just a regular push would have done the trick, in my opinion. I don't know if this is smart. Well, the Cthulhu Frontier is probably fine. Cthulhu is uh, gonna defend him. And yeah, no, he definitely is fine. Yeah, okay. Bothak here now up on Tempest. So what else is happening around the map? Not really a whole lot at the minute. Blitz is down here. He still doesn't have boots. What's his GPM? 51. Uh, that's kind of depressing. He's 0 0 05 and all and does have 6 quick kills. That's not good. <laughs> Meantime, Kami just trying to push in this mid tower. I don't know if that's actually going to happen. Oh my god, that moon moonbeam just hits for so much damage. It's it's only 300, but it, it looks like it's not more. I don't know why. Actually, they could go for a kill right there. Like, you are hiding in a, hiding in a very good position. Why didn't you initiate? Like, you should have turned that around. It's only a level of one shield on a curse. Keep that in mind. They don't know that, though. I suppose, yeah. They assume he has got level 3. And... No. Blitz is hiding down here. So he should run now. He just saw the Luna use her power throw. Her ultimate power throw. And Valkyrie got spotted. I don't know what she's hiding from. Oh well. Uh, he probably got some like very secret intel. And doesn't want to tell me. Because like yet again. These players are amazing. All of them. PK. Oh. Oh. Uh, <laughs> oh my god. That looked just funny. I thought Tempest used this ultimate, but luckily enough he didn't. 
So that's just two kills for them and 17 on four, they're just crushing. Holy balls, that's ridiculous. Yeah. <laughs> of course, no god. <laughs> it's okay now. Is he going for health lower? <laughs> Please tell me it's a health lower. Please don't tell me it's anything else. Like if it's not a health lower. Ah. The skill points. I don't remember. What was he talking about? Skill points? I like I I played a game with uh, with some friends yesterday. Oh well, <laughs> I don't remember actually. I don't know what he's talking about. Uh, meantime, tower goes down. Yeah, flux goes down, but they get a return kill, so that's fine. Tower's still dead, but nobody has any money. So that is going for that big no stone, which of course is great on this hero. Actually, so that is a great example for how you should build any hero. Because um, if your hero got the inbuilt damage, he does no need to build damage. Build survivability first. If your hero got inbuilt survivability, build damage. Right? And. Yeah, so. Oh, actually, this is interesting. I don't think you can get him. But I just basically, point being a bushwhack. Because a lot of players are building him very glass cannon style, which I think is ridiculous. Why would you do that? Build him tanky, really. He needs some survivability, otherwise he's just gonna be useless. I need his damage either way. But overall, you should just shouldn't play the hero ever because he's horrible. <laughs> so yeah. Because just trolling around here. Doesn't he, he doesn't have the ultimate? Oh my god! I now remember. I remember what he was talking about. Yeah. And there was this one challenge uh, in the forums where, okay, basically let me, this is actually interesting, let me tell you about this. So there were a, a while back, a long, long time ago, in the forums, there was a thread and it was a challenge thread. And this challenge thread, somebody proposed the challenge and <laughs> that really actually doesn't have the ultimate. But it's funny how even though he doesn't have the ultimate, everybody assumes he does so they don't actually attack him. It's crazy, isn't it? Yeah, that's psychology for you. Though he's probably gonna die. Yeah. <laughs> they still don't know he doesn't have the ultimate though. Like they still assume he's got the ultimate, which I just think is hilarious. It's just I, I love psychology. I don't know, I love human psychology. I think that's a very interesting topic. And that's right there, it's just a prime example of that. In my opinion. Oh well. <laughs> And even the courier went down and it dropped the Mystic Vestments. So that's horrible. I don't think anybody noticed though. Oh, uh, yeah, he did. Well. But basically, uh, in this challenge, friends, a thread, somebody proposed a challenge, and then whoever fulfilled that challenge uh, got to. Oh, actually, Kudufan was able to pick up his Mystic Vestments. That's funny. <laughs> okay, that's ridiculous. But. Yeah, uh, whoever fulfilled the challenge was allowed to uh, suggest the next challenge. Uh, now, the, this this thread was a lot of fun. Like, players suggested a challenge and they always kept it fair. So, it was something like, go 6 Game Boots Night Hound and be effective and get like this many kills. That was always like the purpose of it. Be effective with this stupid shit. Okay? And, and players then also suggested things which were very like fun day, Monday, day 9 style. That's like, this really sounds stupid, but it works, believe me on this. But yeah, so basically that was kind of the point of it. Until somebody uh, suggested build Cherizia with only the shield and aura and don't get anything else. And that killed the threat because everybody wanted to do it, but nobody was able to. Nobody ever beat that challenge. That just didn't happen. And. I just think it's kind of funny. <laughs> oh, oh, really? They wanted to keep that fresh going. Like everybody was trying, but nobody could do it. But until eventually, everybody got frustrated and just stopped. Which I, I personally thought was kind of hilarious. But yeah, actually, we could create a video series of that, like challenges. You guys leave a ridiculous challenge, and but don't make it something something stupid. Make it something that's fun. We could make like 
Funday Monday. Whoa, let's do that. Yes, I always wanted to do those. Anyways, like I had those, I had that idea a long, long time ago, and then I tried to do it, but I didn't have enough viewers at that point to actually make it work, to actually get enough suggestions for something like that. But how about we make some Funday Monday in Horn? So uh, yes, of course, it's tightly ripped off of the nine, but I still think it's fine because it's a different game. That's always my reasoning. Like, yeah, but. Really, it's just a different game, and this concept is great, but that doesn't mean he is the only one that ever gets to use it. Yeah. But, basically, um, I suggest you guys a challenge. Something that I think is stupid, but still can somewhat work, or is just straight up stupid, or something that's supposed to open up your mind and educate you a little bit. And... You guys try to, uh, well, beat that challenge. And if you can't do it, you submit a replay. And I'm going to take a look at those submitted replays, go through them, and choose the best one and create a video with those. And it's going to be a uh, Funday Monday style video. So I just sit there, commentate it, make fun of you, make fun of me, and everything along these lines. Would you guys want to do that? Are you guys up for that? Like, I personally think it's a great idea, but why the hell? Uh, like, it's just the last time I tried this, I just didn't have enough viewers at that point. However, I'm growing at a faster rate than anybody else in the community at the moment. So, yeah. <laughs> actually, just just because I, I, I just, yeah, just telling you guys, but I'm actually growing faster than Somers. Much faster. And if my growth keeps on going like this, we are going to beat him. In terms of views and subscribers and everything in no time at all. I actually wouldn't even be surprised if I already am beating him in subscribers. Uh, not in subscribers, in views. Yes. Oh well. But that's mostly because I upload much more than he does. <laughs> uh, yeah, but just throwing that out there in case any of you were interested in. Because I think some of you would be. So, yeah. Uh, oh, oh, nice ultimate. Yeah, nobody around to have though. Moon Queen ultimate. Oh, this is gonna be interesting. And <laughs> Bruna snipes one of them. That's very fun. And one kill onto the Moon Queen. So that's fine. She's 11 and 1 at this point, and it's very much GG. Yeah. <clears throat> but yeah, would you guys be up for like Funday Money? Do you want to do that? If you want to, just tell me. Leave a comment. Tell me. And we can try that. Why the hell not? <laughs> we can just uh, make our submission sheet a bit larger. Or oh, actually, we're gonna create a different submission sheet for that one because we need a few more details to actually make that work. But yeah, Funday Monday. How about it? I think I, I just remembered that. And back then, I scrapped it. And the, again, the only reason why I scrapped it was because, well, I didn't have enough viewers. But now I think I've got enough viewers to actually make it work. So why the hell not? Let's give it a try, shall we? But again, it's dependent on that one. What do you think? Do you want it? Do you not want it? Tell me. Yeah, and actually I don't know why they aren't conceding. I suppose that's just Autumn and I <laughs> leaking through. Never concede, never surrender. Yes, it's a reroll. Uh, this game is just looking horrible for everybody. <laughs> Let's just go into GPM chat. Oh my god. Moon Queen got more GPM than all of them together. <laughs> all of them combined. Uh, well, not exactly, but she's getting there, really. And Pringles is just trolling. Like, what does he have one point into the shield? <laughs> I don't know. He's just being ridiculous. Actually. That ultimate wasn't necessary. Nice deny right there. Cthulhu Van going on to the Pyromancer. He gets hit by the stun. Uh, he got the Obliterate activated though. Pyromancer is kind of low. Cthulhu Van... Oh my god, he just wasted his mana. He won't be able to use another charge. So no, Moon Queen is incoming. Does she have anything? She used her stun, so she won't be able to use the Illusion. Doesn't even matter though. As the team gets destroyed anyways. Valkyrie dropping. Will be able to TP out of that just fine. So in the end, three died for nothing. Towerman got denied and they didn't get a single kill. Yeah, this game is kind of cheap, cheap. <laughs> Oh well, yeah, just take a look at the Gordon and the experience difference. That's just completely ridiculous. Huh? Oh well. <laughs> yeah, I still don't know what to think of Blitz. Like, I don't know. I've, uh, the only thing I know about Blitz is that they should have me voice a, a model for him. Because, uh, come on, Blitz is supposed to be a Nazi. Like, you can't tell me whatever the hell you want, he's supposed to be a Nazi. If I'm gonna be the German guy in the uh, game anyways, just, 
Like, just let me voice them, please. <laughs> As two of you hear this, please let me voice Blitz. Like, just one model for him. Wouldn't that be brilliant? Uh, not bad. Denied. Oh, and make me do an announcer, please. <laughs> ah. The curse is invisible. He's got a portal key. He's got a portal key. <laughs> what the fuck, Pringles? <laughs> really? <laughs> what the hell do you have a portal key on an curse for that, that only has one point into any ability? Into into your shield, like just one point. That's all you've got, and <laughs> you got this. <laughs> oh my god, Pringles, you lose. You lose life. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, you win. I'm not sure yet, but in my opinion, you lose. Oh my god, it blinks in like a badass, obliterate onto the moon queen. I don't think it's gonna be able to do anything. No, no chance in hell. Moon just destroys the entire team at this point. And a cost Wow, he actually got out of there. <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe this. <laughs> Pring is you're ridiculous. <laughs> he blinks it <laughs> to get a kill. Oh my god, and the entire team is not going to get genocide. Ah, <laughs> oh, this is just ridiculous. And here we go. <laughs> oh my god. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this uh, shoutcast. <laughs> Actually, that's the wrong. This one, I wanted this one. This shoutcast. It's not really a shoutcast. <laughs> that was hilarious. Anyways, uh, subscribe please. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a rating on it. Link to yesterday's video was down below, which would be the source this fairy tale, which is very exciting. I also just want to announce this really quickly. I'm going to be gone from Wednesday till... Not actually from Monday till Wednesday. I won't, won't be at home, but I will be uploading. Not me, but somebody else. I will be preparing videos at the moment. So going to have something to watch for that duration. I just want to tell you. just want to let you know. Uh, also down in the description links to Top Face. Top Face of the Week. You right now got your last chance to submit a Top Face. Um, I'm going to start creating that video uh, right now. Um, yeah, it's your last chance. It's, I'm going to finish that video today and then we also got a link to my facebook page and guys and panzer my german cool channel and go hope you enjoyed this video and see you tomorrow actually not tomorrow i'm gonna upload a second time today so yeah see you later on bye